Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Question number 5, part A. Show that the equation 3 cos theta minus tan theta times cos theta equals 2 can be written as 3 sin square theta plus sin theta minus 1 equals 0. This question got 3 marks. Here we need to rewrite this equation in this form. That means you need to convert everything in terms of sin theta. First open the bracket. You will get 3 cos square theta. Tan theta is sin over cos. If you multiply by cos, cos cos will be cancelled. Put the 2 also here. And then we know the identity cos square plus sin square is 1. So replace cos square by 1 minus sin square. And then open the bracket and simplify you got the answer. Minus 3 sin square theta minus sin theta. 3 minus 2 is 1 is 0. Multiply everything by minus. You get 3 sin square theta plus sin theta minus 1 is 0. That's the required equation. Part B, hence solve for minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, 3 cos 2x minus tan 2x times cos 2x equals 2. This question got 5 marks. Here in part B, we need to solve this trigonometric equation. Do not treat this part B as a separate question. You need to take the result from part A. If you compare these two, it's the same equation. Only thing you have theta here, you have 2x here. So if this can be written in this form, this equation can be written in the same form where theta, you can replace theta by 2x. So this can be written as 3 sine square 2x plus sine 2x minus 1 is 0, which is the same equation. Just put 2x in the place of theta. Now it's a quadratic equation. You solve this, you get two uh, values. So first one is minus 1 plus root of 13 over 6, which is a positive number. And minus 1 minus square root of 13 over 6, which is a negative number. Now to solve these two equations, why do I need to know whether it's positive or negative? Because when I go to ASTC diagram, I need to know whether it's positive or negative so that I can look for the corresponding quadrants. It's a harder trigonometric equation because you have 2x here, so you need to multiply the limits by 2. So the new limits will be minus pi, 2x is less than or equal to positive pi. I'm going to solve these equations in this limit. So first find the principal value, sine inverse of this positive number. 2x equals sine inverse of this. That's the principal value for this equation. For this equation, since it's a negative number, the method I teach is just take the positive number when you find the principal value. So 2x is going to be sine inverse of 1 plus root 13 by 6. I don't take the minus sign. So the value is 0 0.449 to 3 significant figure. Here 0 0.875 radians to 3 significant figure. That's not the solution, that's a principal value. We need to use the ASTC diagram now for both of this. And we have to solve this equation in this limit, 0 to pi and 0 to negative pi. So here for the first equation, sign is positive. So you need to look for a quadrant where sine theta is positive, which is this and this. So it's theta and pi minus theta. So 2x is going to be theta is the same. And then pi minus theta. 2.69. Divide everything by 2. This one 1.35 radians. 0.225 radians. We got two solutions here. Now if we solve the second equation, we'll get two more solutions. Now here sine is negative, so you need to look for a quadrant where sine theta is negative, this and this, which is from 0 to minus pi. So this would be minus pi, this would be minus pi plus theta. So 2x is going to be minus pi minus 0 0.875, comma 
minus pi plus the principal value. So negative 2.27. Divide everything by 2. This is negative 1.13, negative 0.438. You see total of four values. So that's how we solve this trigonometric equation.